Welcome back everybody. I'm going to get straight into this review today. I am doing a review of Fan Your Flames by Nishane, I think it is pronounced. Um, the, I have decants that were very, very kindly sent to me by one of my subscribers and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Julianne. Um, I'll get straight into this. Nishani released Fan Your Flames, I think it might have been one of their first re early releases, um, back in 2016. Uh, this is a Turkish uh, niche fragrance house. Um, curiously, there is no perfumer that I can find that's credited with this composition. It comes, uh, I believe it is sold in 50ml extra de parfum concentration. And on Lucky Scent, it is retailing at $195 US. So, what I want to what I want to talk about first of all uh, is in the opening, I get a kind of very sweet, uh, not a very sweet, a sweet rum accord. Now. It's not really rum as I would recognize it. I, I recognize it as some kind of um, boozy note, a chord opening. Uh, and because uh, the official notes list coconut and rum as, as the top notes, you could be mistaken in thinking you might get something like that Malibu liqueur kind of uh, scent and I don't get any of that. What I do want to say before I describe what I'm smelling is when I read the notes of this scent, the listed notes, uh, so it's top notes of coconut, rum, then middle notes of tobacco, tonka bean and base notes of oak moss and Chinese cedar wood. I, I believe Chinese cedar wood is kind of more like um, a sweet cypress kind of scent, which makes it a little bit different to your regular cedar notes. It's, it's kind of less dry, a little bit more green to my nose. Anyway, when I read these notes, I kind of unconsciously had a different expectation of what I would smell here. And I, because of the coconut and the rum, I was expecting, I, this, this fragrance is different to what I expected in my mind. I had this, I built up this kind of image or, or olfactory image of what I would be smelling. And I, for some reason I expected this to be more gourmand, more, more boozy than it actually is. Uh, but, this is not this is not a bad thing as far as I'm concerned. So what I smell in the opening is a sweetish booziness, okay? But then very quickly it transitions. Um, and and like I said, I don't know if it's really a rum note. It's just a generic kind of sweet booziness, and I don't get much coconut. At all, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, uh, and I—it's not as pronounced. Definitely not as pronounced as something like "Rich, Warm, and Addictive" by Zara. That um, that has a very kind of creamy coconut, which dominates here on my skin. Coconut is very, very muted, if there at all. It quickly transitions into this dry tobacco but it's kind of almondy as well and I guess um, Tonka can be can have some almondy facets uh, so it, it is it gets it transitions and it gets sweeter in that respect in an, in a Tonka Tonka almondy kind of way <clears throat> but the, but the tobacco note is dry but then you you leave it uh, as it wears on my skin, you leave it a bit longer and that kind of boozy note sort of comes back and blends really nicely with with the tobacco and the tonka. 
what I do like about this, what I do like about one of the best things about this fragrance is that uh, there is definite uh, development, there is definite um, facets, uh, it's not a simple fragrance. And I can smell, apart from the coconut maybe, I can smell everything uh, that's listed here clearly. It is, it is not a straightforward, simple fragrance. Being an extract, um, I can see the, the film of oil. Uh, you won't pick it up on the camera, but I can see the film of oil on, on my skin. And it doesn't have amazing projection. Uh, it has very good longevity, uh, but if you're looking for a projection monster, on my skin at least, it, that, that doesn't happen. When we get into the dry down, I get uh, I get a very nice Okamos Accord. I, I mean, I, I can't assume that real Okamos is being used here due to IFRA reg regulations and, and a lot, but, but whatever is being used as the Okamos Accord here in the base, uh, it's very nice. It's, it's kind of a little bit levery. Uh, and, and really nicely blended with the, the this these woods um, in the base with this oak moss accord are uh, kind of almost green, a little bit smoky, a little bit camphorousness, camphorous, camphorous is the word I'm looking for. And I really, I really like this this is more to me a very woody fragrance there is slight sweetness in the opening so it transitions from the sweet uh opening and then into this drier much more woody fragrance and i think there are probably there is a nice use of synthetic woody aroma chemicals in the base definitely some isoe super or something like that that i can that i can detect as well uh, and so uh, that might mean that uh because i'm a little bit anosmic to that kind of scent uh this this might be more noticeable by people uh, around me um and I haven't, and I haven't tested that aspect of it, so I can't, I can't really comment on that. Whether it's, whether it is noticeable more to people who, who can smell it on me. But it is really, it's really nice. Um, I think quite a mature, quite sophisticated fragrance. At the price point that it is, I don't think it's overpriced. Uh, but I enjoy wearing and testing my my decants I'm not sure whether I would go out and buy a bottle of this and I haven't tested too many of uh, the other Nishane fragrances either but definitely worth a sample but don't all I would say is don't go out there getting this thinking that it might be a, a boozy gourmand kind of fragrance this is certainly uh, to me a sweet tobacco-y but mainly woody fragrance which is which is kind of um why the first time i wear it wore it it was a little bit of a surprise to me but you know it's not it's not a bad thing uh, i think uh, i think if i'd blind sampled this without knowing what it was i would have been i would have had a more a much more positive reaction if that makes sense but it is it is a lovely complex fragrance that that has nice development on my skin uh they're, they're my thoughts on this normally i i would have liked to have tested this over a longer period i haven't really uh worn this in really cold weather so uh i'm i reserve the right to uh change my opinion on it or add to this review when i do get a chance to do it but that's basically what i'm getting from fan your flames from nishane i hope that was useful to you and once again thank you to julianne for 
sending me this de these decants to old fan your flames and I'm going to, going to enjoy wearing them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you soon.